Hey guys, what's going on? Ed here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Wow, I forgot the fucking name of it. Holy shit. Hey guys, what's up? Ed here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Gundam Crossbone. <laughs> the Crossbone Gundam Mao. Uh, so, so excited when this kit uh, premiered at the hobby show. Uh, I remember when I first saw the prototype, I just thought it was a regular crossbone Gundam, and I lost my fucking mind! And then everyone's like, no, 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 Ed, it's, it's, it's a Bill Fighters custom, and I'm like, ah, it's, it's still cool, though, I love it! And I was like, ah, it's so cool, they combined, like, two of my favorite Gundams, because Mao has piloted two of my all-time favorite suits, the X and the crossbone, or, well... He hasn't piloted them per se, but he's made customs of them and piloted them. And then when I saw this guy, I saw like the purple panels on him and everything. And I'm like, oh my god, they put they put the solar things into him. <gasps> and I just thought that was the coolest thing. And I waited, and I waited, and I waited, and I was like super excited about it. And I saw all these like custom builds of it. And I was like, I'm totally buying that whenever I have like twenty dollars to spend. And my friend Jeremy was like, well, I'll get it for you. So he, he got it for me, and here it is. Um, and you probably saw, uh, like, a couple of videos ago uh, when I got this from wherever it came from, from Amazon. The box was completely smashed beyond recognition. Well, I mean, not beyond recognition, but it was smashed, it was damp, it was wet, but none of the runners were damaged, thankfully. So, uh, yeah, I snapped the kit that day, and yeah. Actually, it turned out to be a pretty damn good day, despite the kit being completely smashed. I went out, I got a new job, I saw three people that I haven't seen in two years, and got to catch up with them, so, blah, blah, blah. so I'm not going to go into my personal life, I'm going to get into what you actually care about and why you clicked on this video, the Crossbone Gundam Mao. Now, this is a great high grade, it's awesome, uh, as most of the Build Fighters customs are. As you can see, it's in a very, uh, not dark gray, but it is in a gray color because the skull, I was going to get another Gundam to compare to it, but as you can see, you don't really need to because the skull is white. Uh, here, just, I guess, for a random comparison, is one of my crossbone Damashis, kind of my junker that I have because I have a complete one. So, as you can see, you know, there's many, many differences, but the base is still the same. And in the show, they're all like... Oh, uh, there was a Master Grade Crossbone box near it, so he probably based it off Master Grade Crossbone. And then, in the instructions, there's like a picture of the Crossbone Master Grade, like, pointing to it, and everyone's like, Oh, I was right. But, it's not. <laughs> I wish Bandai would just release the freaking High Grade Crossbone already. It's the one kit that I, once it's out, I can die happy. Um... But I don't know why they haven't released that yet, because it's so obvious that they're going to be doing it. Because this guy has the first runner, the A runner, is literally completely all crossbone parts. Like, none of that is the Mao Custom. It's literally a 1 to 144 scale tray for crossbone parts. That includes the back of the head, uh, some of the upper part of the legs, the side skirts, uh, the feet... Uh, part of the legs, like a bunch of that stuff. Uh, I think actually the chest, too, because of the way the skull is made. But yeah, whatever. So, head for articulation has this double chicken joint movement that we're also used to by now. There is a ball joint here that can rotate pretty much any which way that you like it. And it also bends out a little bit because of the polycap in the arm. Uh, the arm bends at two joints, and I honestly think I may have inserted the arms wrong, because I don't think the arms are supposed to do that. But let's just pretend that I did them right, and we're going to click like on the video, because I totally didn't mess that up. So, ball joints on the hands... There's a ball joint here, and then there's a ball joint in the upper part of the torso. And of course, the thing everyone fucking wants to see, bleh, the skull can open. Uh, you're, I think you're supposed to technically like take it out and move it up, but I find it's easier just to slide it up and down all willy-nilly. Uh, the back 
Vernier, whatever you really want to call them, uh, the, the big thruster things on the back move up and they can rotate. Um, the backpack can swivel like this. The beam sabers can come out and I believe they come under the arm to form like beam saber things or something, something I think. I think the beam sabers fit into them. I don't know. Whatever. There's too many goddamn beam sabers on this thing. But I like how they're kind of folded with the arms up into the back like that. So it looks like, you know, they're protruding out of the backpack. When they're really not. Um, as you can probably tell, since it has a ball joint, the waist can rotate a full 360. Front skirts can go up and can be separated, just like any other kit. Uh, the side skirts are on little joints that are on poly caps, and they also rotate. There's a swivel peg. Or no, it's not a swivel peg. It's a side-to-side -side thing in the crotch. The legs can rotate around at the top here. Double-jointed knees that I actually did right. The feet can bend down, and the skirts are on those little ball joint things that go into the thing that connects the leg and the foot. So yeah, uh, very nice articulation as usual. I do have some trouble with the midsection popping off, but overall it's really not a bad kit. Um, really enjoy it. Uh, let's see, I'm going to stick him back there and go over some of his weapons. So, uh, first weapons to go over are these. There are two of them, and I totally forget their names, but they can rotate here, and they can also pop out, and you can adjust them and put them on any handle you want, and the handles obviously go into the hands, or they go on the side skirts conveniently like that. They also come with beam effects, which are these pretty things, and one thing that I like to do is pop that off the handle of one of them and attach both of them so it has this double long beam thing, which is a pretty fun weapon. Those out of the way. Uh, going over some of the smaller things, there's like four extra beam sabers that come with the kit, and I'm not, again, entirely sure why. I think these may have been leftovers for the crossbone high grade whenever we get it, but I'm not really sure. But there are a lot of beams that come with a kit. For example, there's two regular high grade sized ones, and then there's two master grade sized ones, which I'm pretty sure all protrude at the same time, or you can protrude them at the same time from four of the different spots, including uh, two of these beam sabers and the two backpack beam sabers, which can all be used at once. There is two of these little dagger things that are very dull and need sharpening. There's also these foot knives that can as the name states, come out of the foot, which is pretty cool. And the, whatever this is called, um, the, it's not the Zambuster. I don't think it's the Zambuster, whatever it is. This is just a high grade crossbone weapon. This is the first teaser that we are getting at a regular high grade crossbone release because this is the weapon that the crossbone uses just in a tiny scale and it is adorable and you can separate it just like the master grade this moves you can plop this down secure it there and then it comes with the beam saber effect which again is just a tiny version of the master grade which is adorable and awesome and i cannot wait for the high grade to get released then we have these two epic hands the freaking peace sign hands which are just so cool. I think maybe these are the noble hands. Or well, I know noble came with one piece hand. I think maybe they would, like make it canon that he recasted them as the other hand or something. I don't, I don't know, whatever. Um, these are holding hands for like the gun and stuff. Very uniquely designed and posed. Um, I like them a lot because they can just kind of like hang. And then last but not least is. I believe this is the same hand that the X Mao had, the cross or the uh the Gundam X version of Mao's custom suit. Or Mao's custom Gundam X suit. God, I'm tired. 
Um, including this weird wrist thing that can pop out, so I think he can hold uh, guns better. And last but not least, he comes with this giant sticker sheet that I won't be using because I don't use stickers. They're terrible things. So yeah, really nice kit. Really dig it. Uh, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10, just because there are a couple things on it that bug me, but really, there's hardly anything to nitpick about it. There's very few seam lines. The only seam lines that are on the kit are on the back of the legs there, and those can easily be fixed. And I actually, no, I think there's some on the arms, but I don't know if those are intentionally supposed to be there or not. Um... It's an amazing suit. It has a ton of customizing possibilities because the crossbones have a ton of customizing possibilities. So here's to uh, hopefully seeing, you know, an X1, an X2, an X3, maybe a ghost and a storm in the future. Or a storm. Yes, Bandai is going to make an official high grade of the custom suit that I made. No, not storm. Uh, ghost and phantom. Th those two, yeah. Um... But for now, it's really nice that we have at least some sort of crossbone Gundam in 1 to 144 scale. So here's hoping to see Mao use this in Season 2, which just got confirmed today. And, uh, yeah, I really want to take a nap. Because I'm plum tuckered. Plum tired tuckered, whatever. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> thank you to Jeremy for giving this kit to me out of the kindness of his heart. Because him and I are both giant crossbone fans. Your package is in the mail, good sir, and I hope you enjoy the things and the goodies that I sent you. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. I would definitely recommend picking this kit up if you're a Crossbone fan, if you're a Pirate fan, if you're a fan of kids with squinty eyes and straw hats. Yeah, so just just get this kit. It's really awesome. Um, I, do, I do wish, as stupid as it would be, is that they gave an effect part for the mouth so he could be like, vomiting the blue laser thing out. I mean, a ton of other figures and toys come with it, but I just really wish they, they gave the mouth some sort of, like, really awesome effect part. Because when he's just there with his mouth open, he looks like he's... Like, he just told a really bad joke, and he's, like, waiting for the people to laugh. He's like, Huh? Huh? Come on! Okay. Alright. I'm gonna go now. Bye.